Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. Today we're having a look at Muhammad Ali version one. I'm saying version one because I likely will revisit him. He's one of my favorite fighters of all time, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, perhaps the greatest heavyweight of all time. I'll leave that opinion up to you guys. So let's jump into it. So for the general info, just copy what you see on the screen to get the same results of mine. For his stance, I've gone for John Dodson because it has a bit of a bounce to it. But if you're a one, two fighter and you want to get those, you know, you want to have that slight advantage with a one, two, then Nate Diaz has a good one, two in this game. So you could go for the Nate Diaz stance. He's got a very solid one, two. Other than that, um, I'd say, yeah, the one that I told you guys earlier is probably the best one. If you want a movement type, I guess in out movement, Steven Thompson, but that's more like a kickboxer style. So I'm going to go back up to, what do we have it as John Dodson? Let's just have one more look at the John Dodson stance just because it's the bounce you see this bounce here it kind of reminds me of Ali's style you know he had the Ali shuffle I think this is the closest one to that if you want something with different kind of footwork you could do Dominic Cruz as well he has a different kind of footwork style but um, I don't know he's got his hands kind of low that is kind of Ali's style as well so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys man it's a difficult one it is a tricky one to figure out what stance to give for him for his age I put 25 his hometown is not Los Angeles but I couldn't find the one that he's from so I left it as that for his appearance, let's jump into it, man. The important part of the tutorial, let's go. Hair 29, and we've done a little bit of tattoo work to fill in the sides. For his eyebrows, I've gone for brows 10, again with the tattoo work. Other option, obviously, brows. You could go brows 3 as well if you want to thicken it up a bit, but I think brows 10 is a good shape. Facial hair, no facial hair, but you know what? Let's see what Ali would have looked like if he had some mad beard, because he's never he's never had a beard before. Hang on, let's, uh, not as far as I know, anyway. So I just want to, I just, I'm just curious, real curious, real quick. I want to just see what he looks like with different beards yeah so you, as you can see the you know the face template is done is been done justice when um when you can just put any old beard on him and it still looks like ali so yeah i'll leave that to you guys obviously if you want to do it serious then uh, no beard for his eyes i've gone for dark brown other option is probably not possible yeah so dark brown is the only eyes for his body type i went for body 11. you got a couple of choices here you could go body five as well if you want to do a slimmer kind of look from when he was in his younger days uh, body four as well anything that's kind of got long arms you could probably roll with um if you want to do like an older mike tyson where he's a bit podgy like in his late 30s then i guess body 27 could work as well but i kind of wanted tyson in his prime for his skin tone on for tone eight and uh, i've added a tattoo layer on top as well i thought tone eight was a good fit um yeah cool let's go into the head slider and uh, yeah just follow what you see on the screen to get the same results as what i have in mind and um, my friend was saying, I'll send this to my friend as well. He's saying, bro, like from the from the nose up, it looks perfect. So I'm I'm, I'm really hoping you guys are going to like this one as well. I'm going to work on him some more, probably down the line with a fresh set of eyes. This is like day one that I worked on him. And I just had to put him out there, man. I was like, come on, bro. This is like going to be one of the best ones that I've put out there for a while. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content. If you do, hit the like button below and keep the suggestions coming as well. Let's see what other kind of guys we can get over and across onto the channel. I'm thinking I'm going to try and finish that Cristiano Ronaldo one i'm gonna try and do a michael jordan one obviously i've got a big backlog from what you guys have been telling me as well and last wednesday we had a wicked calf stream and i've got loads of uh, calves to finish off from there as well i've done actually i have tweaked a couple of them so they are on the way yeah, i'm just yeah you gotta be a little bit patient with me there because <laughs> there's a lot of content to get through let's go all the way to the bottom layer right so now we're looking at tattoos so i'm gonna put this as a swap and let's chuck it to the bottom because this is the base layer. So the base layer we are using is Shapes 19. And literally all it's doing is adding that little tint. You see? See that little bit of difference? So if you do want that tint, then uh, go go ahead and use Shapes 19. And basically what you want to do is just stretch it out. Not all the like Stretch it out, but not completely all the way. Or just get it to go to his back. And then uh, press left on the stick. And where that line meets, just make sure that line is closed. As best as you can. I can't do it right now. Hang on, I'm L1 and right stick, and then just fade it in and put one to the right. Um, I guess you don't have to do that step. I'll leave that up to you lot. And then similarly, you're gonna do the same thing on this arm. Got a tattoo wrapped around his arm here. And uh, we've got one wrapped around his arm here as well. So I'll leave that up to you guys. You can do it for his legs as well. So that's the first part of the tutorial. On to the next bit, we're gonna look at the eyebrows. So we've got quite a few, quite a few for the eyebrows. And uh, you don't have to use this many, but you make sure you use a Mythos Font 9. I think that's a good fit. If you want to do exactly how I've done it, just have a look at where I've put it. And basically, all I'm doing is I'm just filling out the eyebrows. And you know what, let's, you see how the more you kind of put, the more thicker you can do the eyebrows. But at the same time, 
the um the, the rougher it can get as well so just make sure that when you're doing it you're just doing it as tidy as you can try not to let any of the edges spill out and it's one of them ones man when you come and revisit if you come if you look at him you make him in the game and then you go take him into game and then you'll start noticing things that are different you're like oh, i should tweet this i should tweet that so eyebrows is one of those things man it just takes a long time to get it right i'm happy enough with where his eyebrows are you could get probably closer than even i've done but i'll leave it up to you guys and good luck with that man because the, the tattoos bits of the tutorial are the hardest bits i'd say they always take the longest so good luck with that guys and uh, yeah so we've got about i think six on each side something like that just filling out the eyebrows and i don't know what he looks like without them to be honest because i chose i did the um tattoos first and then i chose the eyebrow type so yeah i did it backwards actually so i don't know maybe he looks all right without them so let's just get through yeah so we got through those Next up on the list of tattoos, we have shapes number nine, and that is just here, like this. And basically all that's doing is just helping that the blend between the eyebrow line and uh, where his face is, using this uh, semicircle upside down thing. Make a copy of that and chuck one over here as well. And again, same thing that it's doing, it's just helping to blend in the eyebrows a bit better to like the eyebrow bone, I guess, to the eyes. Next up, I have clever font number nine, which I've got going one down here. Just a little crease on each side, nothing too dramatic. And then we have uh, shapes 18, but I don't believe I'm using it, so we can skip that one. Next up, we have shapes number nine. And again, it's just to add a little bit of uh, detail to his face. And then again, shapes number nine just over here. I think, you know what? Probably that is probably the best angle of Ali right there. That is where in my eyes I'm like, wow, that kind of that does look like him a lot, you know. So next up we've got animals eight. Okay, so let me just real quick just check what the next section is for this tutorial. It is the hair. Okay, so you don't have to use as many as I have. Basically, what we're doing here, and you can use the black shape. You don't have to use this shape, but I like it because it kind of looks a bit more uh, textured. We're going to use animals eight and go across to where is this one? And you're just basically going to just go through and just layer it as best you can. Make sure this top layer, which looks like this, upside down, um, is only very slightly there. Because the, the lower down you go, the more you can kind of see that it's fake. But if it's just at the top, then it's, it fits in pretty well. On the side, we've got animals 8 again. Which side is that on? Side or the back? Okay, that's over here. Oh, that's at the top. Okay, you don't need to worry about that one. That was a trial and error thing that didn't work out. So we've got one over here basically this isn't this isn't a precise science just try and use these shapes to get a hairline going for him so that it's not um, all faded in and like i said it's not a precise science just try and make sure there's symmetry between the two sides and it's just that it looks tidy so don't spend too long on it i spent probably about 10 15 minutes most on this uh, on the hair bit probably about 10 minutes so it's not one of them it's not like mad important but um it's just good to fill it out because Every little detail that you can do to make him look more like Ali is going to help like trick your brain that, oh, okay, this is Ali and this isn't just some creative fighter. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's what I'm realizing. The more I'm doing this creative fighter stuff, it's like, bro, if you see a detail that looks like him, you need to put it in because the more stuff that you put in that looks like him, the more your brain is like convinced that that is actually that that person. And I guess it's the same for probably when they're making UFC fighters, man. I'm sure that's that's how they do it. So whereas before I'll just focus purely on face template, but now I'm like, now nah, bro, we gotta get the hair right as well, you know. So last bits, I just got some animal seven actually, they're all faded out, you don't need to worry about them. What's this 37? 37 on that side. Got another 37 on this side. So yeah, again, most of the tattoos here are just for the hairline. And they're 41, did I show 41? Yeah. Just for the hairline, literally. Um, and that's a wrap for Ali. So let's have a look at Ali with some different hairstyles. So one uh, different hairstyle that I was going to use, but then kind of looks like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So I didn't in the end, but you know the one I'm on about. It was this one, this version of Ali. But his hair, because he does have hair like that, but it doesn't quite go up as much as, uh, as, much as we see here. So I didn't do that. And I think that's really the only hair that's going to work is the original one that we selected for Ali. I, don't, I can't see any other hairstyle working with him. But I'll leave it up to you guys. If you've got a better hairstyle suggestion, then let me know in the comments below. Hair number five, maybe. 
No, I think the hair that we chose is, is the perfect style. Body type we've already done as well. So for his gear, I guess, last thing we can look at is the gear for Muhammad Ali. And I might change his taunts as well because I don't like the taunts and the celebration I've got on him at the moment. So I went for boxing, basic white. Other options, yeah, I mean, he has white shorts. I kind of saw a good looking one down here. It was um this tiger white. I thought maybe I could do tiger white or zebra blue, but... Yeah, they're just not quite there. So I left it at the white one. For the gloves, I just gave him the Strike Force red because looking at some of the photos on uh, Google, he either had red or he had black gloves. So I went for the red. And for the mouth uh, grills or just whatever you want, really, maybe maybe even desert camo. Uh, no, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that, would he? He'd probably or like carbon or something. I don't really know what kind of mouth guard he uses, but cool. Um, yeah, let's have a little mess around now. The tutorial is pretty much done, but I just wanted to see. I've not actually checked them out with uh, Super Saiyan here. So let's see Super Saiyan Ali. What about Super Saiyan Blue Ali? Ali, the Christmas elf. Um, yeah, cool. I think that's none. There's nothing really in this section that we need, is there? Could give him like one of these things, but well, nothing really related to boxers in this section. So I'll leave all that. And for tops, um, Anything of interest here? Ali in the jumpsuit, Ali the Christmas elf. I think that's about it, man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this one here then. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Let's just have a quick look at emotes. And importantly, I just wanted to just change his post five, man, because I got I got dancing, which is just that's not really Ali's style, is it? Double up. What's double up? Obviously none of these, obviously none of these, maybe bow. I don't even know, man. I, I, I can't remember what Ali's celebrations are like. That looks alright, I'm going to give him that one. What's this party time I've unlocked? <laughs> nah, nah, no way. I'm good. Maybe ruthless, yeah, ruthless looks good. Shoulder brush. Nah, that's too like, that's too like 90s, that's like 80s, 90s. Slicer, what's Slicer? Nah, that's again, that's like 2000s WWE style. Wobbles? Nah. <laughs> Not Wobbles either. Jose Aldo's probably going to have a good one. Yeah, Jose Aldo, that looks good. And what's this L kick? I think I know that one, yeah. Alligator, Grave Digger, what else I got? Air Guitar, nah, I don't have that. The Prodigy? What's this one? Nah, it looks too crazy. Party time, did we check party time? Yeah, we did. Alright, cool, I'll leave that one there. What taunts in the arena? Or more importantly, actually pre-fight. Uh, I like high there. It's a pretty, it's a pretty basic one. Boom, done. All right, cool then, guys. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the result in this one. Hope you guys are as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden, and I'm out of here. Peace.